This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're putting in a new Miele dishwasher door seal. So you might want to do this if your door seal starts to leak. These are pretty well made and usually last maybe 20 years. But if you're noticing a leak on the edges, it might be time for a new door seal. So these are just pushed into place. I'm, I'm just pulling it out from the bottom first pulling it out of its little slot that it's pushed into and just take your time come all the way around it'll come right out pretty easy and then you want to clean the channel that it fits in you can just use an old toothbrush make sure there's no uh, soap or sediment caught in there you want to get that pretty clean Then you take the new seal and you want to hold it up at the top and try to get the two parts that go down vertically. If you think of them as, as legs on the left and right hand side, you want to just approximate and get them to be about the same length. Also, you want to look at, make sure you push it in the same way that the old one came out. You can look at the old one, how it was in there, and just make sure you get the seal to match the same way that the old one came out. And then start at the top, and push it into the slot. Again, there's no glue or screws or anything. It's just, it's just held in by friction. And then work your way down. One of the legs could be left or right. Just push it in using your thumb, and we'll go across the top, finish that, and then we'll go down the right side. And then if you end up noticing that one of the legs is just too long and the other one's too short, it's okay just to redo it. Keep trying it until you can get both of the legs that are going down vertically to be the same length. And this rubber can, over the years, get kind of brittle and not as not be as supple, where it doesn't doesn't uh, cause a watertight seal. So now we're just going to test it, and close it. Might be a little bit harder to close the first couple of times because it'll offer more resistance. And just run a quick cycle, let it fill, and make sure that the leak has gone away. close it and we ended up with no leak so that worked out great so thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance